and an 11th grader or a 10th grader asks you to explain Gauss's theorem in simplest possible words. Well, story-wise, it's very, very simple. We know about lines of force, don't we? Lines of force per unit area is called flux. That means the lines of force emerging from a unit area. That's called flux. Now, this flux that you are seeing is actually dependent on the charges which are responsible for this flux. Have a look at this ball. I'm sure you have seen this. These spikes can be imagined as the lines of force. And see, there's a charge which is glowing inside. Imagine that this is the charge that is throwing these lines of force. So, here's the story of Gauss's theorem. Flux that you see is equal to some of the charges enclosed by this particular surface. Of course, when you're doing this, you have to take the permission of space also into consideration. But in simplest words, Gauss's theorem is flux is equal to the charges enclosed by that surface. Isn't that easy? That's 12th class story of Gauss's theorem for you.